Hi friends, I'm Heidi with Onigo Stamping and welcome to my craft corner. I am so excited that y'all are joining me tonight. If you are here and watch me live, go ahead and leave me a comment. Let me know that you're watching. Let me know where you're watching from and let me know if you are going to stamp along with me for tonight's Stamp With Me Tuesday Fabulous Fun Folds edition. <laughs> I am excited for tonight's Fun Fold. I think it's going to be a lot of fun. So I, I hope that somebody is stamping along with me. If you are joining the replay, uh, welcome to you too. I'm so glad that you uh, found this later and you're able to watch it then. Hi, Karen. Welcome. So oh, it's been a week <laughs> and it's only Tuesday. Um, yeah, what's going on right now? Um, there's the weekly specials going on. The Stampin' Cross Country Virtual Adventure is coming up this weekend. If you are not yet registered, you can still register. You just need to hop over to my website um, and get in there because um, we need to get you in the Facebook group and get you going. Um, so definitely don't miss it on, out on that. It's going to be a fun all-day Saturday event. Lots and lots of demonstrations, lots of tutorials, um, games, prizes, so much more. It should be a really, really fun day. So looking forward to that. Hi, Mom. Hello, Kathy. All right. I'm going to go ahead and switch around my camera, and we're going we're gonna to get started. You're just watching tonight. Okay. Thanks for letting me know. See, nope, wrong one. <laughs> Do that every time. All right, so let's talk about what we need to get started. So if you um, have all your stuff ready, let me just go over what we're gonna have tonight because there's a bunch of pieces. So we have a piece that is seven and a quarter by five and a half. Thanks, I'm glad you love my hair. Seven and a quarter by five and a half, and I scored it at four and a quarter. And then we have a piece that is six and three quarters by five and a quarter. And I scored it at one and one quarter and four inches. And then I have a long strip that is nine and three quarters by one inch. And I scored it at two and three quarters. And then, oops, I forgot to cut my piece of white. Well, we will do that in just a bit. So I should have a piece of white that is five and a quarter by four inches. And I forgot to grab it. I have a piece of white that's two and a half by two and a half. Another piece that is two and five eighths by two and five eighths. And then a third piece that's three by three. And then I have some designer series paper. I have two pieces that are one inch by five inch. And I have a piece that is two and a half inches by five inches. And then I have a piece that is one and a half by five and a quarter. Now, all of these dimensions are going to be over on my website. I am running a little behind tonight. Uh, so not they're not up there yet. I do have the um, the quick reference guide written for you. Um, and it's going to be going up on my website later this evening. So um, if you're watching the replay, it's probably already there. Um, and the link will be in the description to this video. If you're joining me live, it's going to be up in a few hours. You're going to find it over on my website. All right. Um, so what else was I saying? Yeah. So hopefully we'll, you'll have all those dimensions for you so that you can look at them. They are in the description to this video as well. So, all right. Now I am going to be using the Nuts About Squirrel stamp set. I said pull this out. It's a good fall stamp set. <laughs> so I'm going to use the Nuts About Squirrel stamp set. And then, as you can tell, I'm using, I think it's called Happy Forest Friends um, Designer Series Paper. And I have some Sahara Sand Paper and some Calypso Coral. So we'll see how this turns out. Hello, Carol Sue. As every week um, with Stamp With Me Tuesday, I have made samples, so I have two more samples to share with you, but I haven't made it with these stamps yet. So you like both those choices? Oh, I'm so glad. I gotta grab me some white paper. So I forgot to cut one piece. And normally I have a bunch here, but I have like exhausted my supplies of um, five and a quarter by four inch pieces of white. So. I'm just going to grab my paper trimmer and cut myself some right now. So this is just going to be five and a quarter by four. And there we go. All right, let's start putting this card together. This is going to be a fun fold card tonight. and I'm really excited. I think it's kind of fun. I hope you guys like it. It's kind of, you know, it's kind of similar to maybe a lot that you've seen, but it's a little bit different too, I think. All right, so I'm starting with my biggest piece of cardstock, and I'm just going to go ahead and fold this on the score line. I'm going to open it up, 
And I'm gonna start by adhering my piece of basic white to the inside. Now, if you wanna stamp this first, you definitely can. Um, I'm just gonna leave mine white, I think. Leave lots of space to leave a message. So I'm gonna just put that in there. And then I'm gonna grab my longest piece of designer series paper. And I grabbed this one that looks kind of like trees. I thought that would look good with my squirrel. Squirrely, squirrely, squirrelies. So this is gonna go on the inside all the way to the right. So we can see it when our card is closed. So there's that. So that's kind of fun already. We got a tree on there. Now I wanna grab my other piece of cardstock, my other large piece of cardstock, and I'm gonna fold that over on one score line. So that's like that. And then I'm gonna score this part back. All right, so I'm gonna fold that part back. So it's actually gonna be like this. Hopefully you can see that. So it's gonna open like that, all right? A little bit different. <laughs> and then I'm gonna go ahead and I'm just gonna adhere this to my card front. So this is this big flap, all right? In the back. And then my little flap is on the front, right? So you can kind of show you that way. So it looks like that. It's kind of like a Z, except it's a really wonky shaped Z. <laughs> so this big fold is in the back and this is just gonna go right on top of my first piece, my Sahara sand. And I'm just gonna try to like center that in that flap. All right. And you can see how that's gonna open. Isn't that fun? So it's just kind of a fun, <laughs> something a little bit different. And then I wanna put my other pieces of designer series paper on this as well. So I'm gonna put this one that is like hearts in the center. Now you could use the same pieces, you could use different pieces. Um, you could use two of the same and one that's different. Any of that will work. This is just gonna go right inside here, just like that. So hopefully you guys can see that. All right, so we got the white with our designer series paper. And then we got this piece of designer series paper. Now we're gonna put designer series paper on both sides of this little flap. It just felt like it needed it on both sides. And I'm gonna use this fun uh, mushroomy paper. We'll call it mushroomy paper. So just putting a little bit of adhesive on there. And I'm gonna put this on this front side. Just like that. And then I'm gonna open that little flap and I'm gonna put some in there too. Now, if you wanted to, you could cut another piece for this right here. And that would end up being, I think two by five and a quarter, if I'm doing my math right. Um, actually, you know what, I can measure this. Oh no, that's like three inches across there. So that'd be like two and three quarters, two and three quarters by five and a quarter. So if you want a piece in here, two and three quarters by five and a quarter, I decided I'm just gonna leave it blank. So I'm gonna grab my other piece of the designer series paper and put a little adhesive on there. And then I'm gonna stick this on the inside. Kind of fun, huh? I love this paper. I don't feel like I've been using it enough. Although then, you know, then I start thinking, oh, I've been using it all the time. All right, so there is the card base. So that's kind of our fun fold card. Isn't that fun? All right. I hope you hope you think it's fun. I think it's fun. I wanna grab my piece of white. We're just gonna do some basic stamping for this. You guys can stamp whatever you want um, on your piece of white. So I'm just gonna stamp something on this piece of white. And I decided that something is going to be squirrels. <laughs> so I'm starting with some um, early espresso and I'm gonna stamp the outline image of my little squirrel here. Oh, he's so cute. 
And then I think I'm going to go ahead and stamp the sentiment as well. So let's stamp the sentiment up here. I'm going to stamp nuts about you right up there. I thought it would be fun to try to make this a red squirrel. So, and by red, I mean Calypso coral because I want it to match the pattern paper that I have, right? So I'm going to make it Calypso coral. We'll see if this ends up being a weird colored squirrel, but I thought, let's do something different. So I'm just looking through those photopolymer stamps and getting them, trying to get them lined up correctly. It's really hard without sticking my head like right over the stamp. But there we go. Oh, that's kind of cute. He's kind of cute in Calypso Coral, eh? Then I'm going to color in his little, his little nut there. A little acorn. So I'm starting with some um, Sahara Sands to match the other cardstock. And get that lined up. There is a spot like to not go over his hand. I think I missed. There we go. Now, I didn't get it out, but I'm going to get out some soft suede because I don't want to use the early espresso on the top because then I won't see. That's the same color as that I stamp that outline. So then I won't see all those little details in there. So I'm going to use some soft suede instead. And we'll just stamp that right over the top. <laughs> you think it's cute? I think it's cute. I think it's fun. So that is, that's all the stamping I'm going to do. I don't know how much stamping you want to do. If you want to color, now is the time. You can color it. You could color it later. But um, yeah, this is a really easy card. So now I'm going to take that big long strip. This was nine and three quarters by an inch. And I've already um, scored this at, I think it was at two and three quarters. When I'm going to make a belly band for this. When I make a belly band for something, I only like to score one side. Um, it just helps me get the belly band to be kind of the right size, keep it from being too tight or too loose. I do like to go ahead and score one side though, so that I can get it started, right? So I just score the one side, I fold on that score line. And then if I can, if I can grab it, I'm just going to pull over that other side. Now you want it to be, you know, you don't want it to be too tight, but you don't want it to be too loose either. So you want it to be snug. We'll call it snug. But you want to be able to get it off, right? Because the point of a belly band is to be able to slide it off. So let's see. Maybe a little tight, but I think it's okay. So then I'm just going to adhere this with some adhesive. What I like to do is I like to take my adhesive and just run a little bit down that edge right there. And then I run a little bit down this edge right here and that just kind of makes sure that both of those ends end up adhered and I don't have to you know think about where to stop putting glue so there is the band super fun just adhere that closed and then I'm gonna take my little squirrel and I have a piece of Calypso coral here. So the squirrel is two and a half by two and a half. And that Calypso coral is two and five eighths by two and five eighths. So it's just one eighth bigger than two and a half. I don't count the, the eighths when I do this. I really just think, oh, it's two and a half. And then I add an eighth to it. So you like that I changed the color of that squirrel? I think that is a cool color. I think it works really well with this too. So. Oh, he's so cute. All right, I'm gonna go ahead. I'm just gonna lay my square down for my belly band underneath the belly band. This is gonna help me make sure that I don't put adhesive where I don't want it. Cause now I can just kinda, you know, go up to where those edges are. So I see how long to make it. And then I'll just take that and lay it right in the center. Hopefully I get it centered. Again, without putting the head directly over top of it, it's a little bit hard to tell if things are straight. But there we go. And I think I'm going to put this on with some dimensionals. If I have my dimensionals here. No, oh, those aren't the ones I want. And those aren't the ones I want. 
my dimensionals are gone on a holiday. What's new, right? <laughs> What's new? My dimensionals go on a holiday. It's like every week. Okay, and I don't even have like a full pack here. This is odd. Hmm. Well, I guess we'll use itty bitty ones. I have to find my dimensionals. I thought I had just opened a new pack, so I don't know why I don't have I don't have the pack. We'll just use itty bitty ones. It's okay. <laughs> it just means I might use a few extras. There we go. And we'll grab all these backs. And you guys, I do have more samples for you too. So I'm gonna show you some, a couple more samples that I made in just a second. And there is our little squirrel on there. Oh, so I don't know, should we add any embellishments to him? If you have any ideas for some embellishments, let me know and I will, uh, we'll, I'll see if I have them, you can add some embellishments to him. But I just think that is so much fun. <laughs> Hi, Anne, welcome. All right, so I'm just gonna slide this off again and show you. So you just slide off the belly man and then you got that cute card right there. Let me show you my other cards. Now, while I'm putting this belly band back on, I did wanna let you guys know, so I am having, I'm having one of those weeks. Y'all ever have those weeks where things just get a little bit crazy and I decided something's gotta give this week. <laughs> So what I decided has got to give this week is uh, th my Thursday night live. So don't be looking for me Thursday night. I will not be here Thursday night live. I'm going to just take, I'm going to take the night off, getting ready for the Stampin' Cross Country event this weekend. Um, but I'll be back next week, Tuesday with the uh, Fond of Autumn card class for September. And I'm really excited. I made the cards for that this weekend. They're super cute. At least I think they're super cute. I was really, really excited. I'm really, I'm, it is so hard for me when I get done making a card to like not immediately share it with everyone is so, so hard. <laughs> so, um, so I'll see you next Tuesday night. I just won't be here Thursday. Oh, you have yours right in front of them and you couldn't find them last night when you were making cards. I understand Cindy. All right. So here we have another one. This is using the boughs of holly and um, leaves of holly, leaves of holly stamp set. Holly dies. I don't know. The paper is the boughs of Holly. I think I, I get all confused with the names. Anyway, there it is. And I just die cut those leaves, the Holly and the berries, and then used the designer series paper on the inside. And again, I used Sahara sand and um, evening evergreen on this. So you want to see some rustic metallic dots on there? I think that would be cute too. Let's do that. Before I show you the third sample, I will show you, we'll, we'll pop some rustic metallic dots on there. And I have some. All right. Cause I love the rustic metallic dots. These are fun. Grab my take your pick tool. And we'll just slide some of these off. Let me see, where should we? always a you know a question where do I put these so I, I try to put them kind of like in a triangle shape <laughs> but sometimes it's easier than other times I'm always like like what am I doing let's see I don't want to put it right down here by his little squirrel butt <laughs> but if I put it over here it's like in a line I guess we'll put it right there how's that there are some rustic metallic dots on there. <laughs> oh, definitely, Anne, go back and watch it from the beginning. All right, so there was our Christmas card. We got our squirrels and our Christmas card. Let me show you the third sample I have for you. This is with the Forever Friendship stamp set, which I love. I think it's hilarious. Time for a cardigan. <laughs> and it's got a cardigan. And I love cardigans. I'm so excited. The weather is cooled down. It is sweater weather again. And uh, I'm excited. And I put some of the... Um, metallic threaded twine on there and for this one I used the let me see gingham cottage designer series paper and the design a daydream designer series paper and this is a little bit weird because I used pool party 
and mint macaron. So that's what's in this paper right here. Um, but it is, I mean, those two colors are so close to each other that it's just a little bit off. It's kind of a fun, a fun color. So there's a fun color combination. So there's that. It's still 97 to 100 in Texas. Okay, that doesn't sound like fun. <laughs> it was still 80 something yesterday, but today it, um, it stormed and it got chilly. So sweaters. <laughs> All right, so those are my three cards for tonight. These will be up on my website very, very shortly. In the next couple hours, I'm going to put them up over there. There also will be a quick reference guide for tonight's um, fun fold card. So you'll have all those dimensions and you can, you know, download it, print it off, um, save it for later, whatever you want to do. I am going to post a picture of these over in my Facebook group. So if you made a card along with me tonight or you make one, um, you know, in the next couple of days, I hope that you will come over there and share it with all of us because I love seeing what everybody comes up with. Um, it's just really fun to take the same design and make different cards with it. So, oh, thank you, Karen. I am so glad you guys joined me tonight. I will see y'all next week, Tuesday for the uh, Fond of Autumn card class or hopefully this weekend for the Stamp Across Country virtual adventure. Have a fabulous night. <laughs>